and Rob, you've said Kyler should play baseball. So is he making a mistake by picking football? It's, most people don't have an option, you know. Right. So this is a very unusual spot to be. Extremely. It, it just is, because it's usually one or the other. But I think he would be making a mistake uh, not to pick baseball from this standpoint. I know he won the Heisman, but he didn't win the hype man trophy of the year. He's going to have to, as that size, play quarterback in the NFL. And I'm not saying it's impossible, it can't mm -hmm. be done, but, but for the most part, he, it's an uphill battle mm -hmm. of, of trying to play that position. Sure. You've even seen Drew Brees tippy toeing trying to look over the line to be able to throw. And obviously, he's had a great career, and we know there's been other guys. But here are the reasons why. Health, money, and longevity. If you can play that game, baseball, and you don't have to deal with the health issues that come with it, then, then you should grab it. It's not like... This is, the, the A's don't throw around $5 million just to throw around $5 million. Right. They really believe that this guy can, can get there. Mm -hmm. And it's hard. Skip, mm -hmm. hitting a baseball. Hardest thing, Shannon, were you able to hit a baseball? I was not. Yeah, most, most guys can't hit a baseball. It's just hard to I do. I didn't try, but I'm sure I could have. Mm -hmm. You think so? No, think so. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's the other battle, I think. And, and I look at Deion Sanders came out, play baseball. This guy who he was... He said he would pick a bat up and not Yes. And this is a guy who won a gold jacket, yeah. a Hall of Famer, considered one of the greatest DBs ever, yeah. right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Russell Wilson, he's won a Super Bowl. He says he'd play baseball, too, if he could. Russell Wilson, what? Skip couldn't hit. Couldn't hit. Couldn't hit. Would have loved to have played baseball. Good couldn't, field, no right. hit. Could, just Second couldn't baseman. hit. Yeah. Yep. And then I look at this. This is like a broader thing. I, I really think this is a, a, a bigger moment than just uh, for Murray. Because here's a guy who's got... All of that appeal and pop on social media, and kids are watching this. They are. It's a big moment. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think that this could be a big victory for baseball, only from this standpoint. If he does pick baseball, I, I just hope the kids out there who have been brainwashed, you hear me? Brainwashed that the only sports they can play are football and basketball. It's such a disservice. Go look at the history of baseball and black people playing. That's our game, too. Yeah. Baseball. It, you used to dominate that. Game. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Also, there's a thing that used to be called the Negro Leagues, mm -hmm. where all these great... Don't, don't tell me black people don't play baseball. But what's happened is a lot of these people who are on the outside trying to get these kids, or they want the next LeBron James or Mike... I, I get, and they tell these kids, you can't play anything else. All these great players have played more than one sport. He is an example that you can. You can play more than one sport. You can try to excel in baseball and, and basketball or, or, in his case, Murray's case, football. So this is, this is a big moment right here. I think if he does pick baseball, it could send a signal that there are other options out there. I think he would be smart to take baseball. You know, to your point real quick, it, it always surprises me when I look back at Kyler's high school that he played baseball because so many black kids and white kids and kids of all color just fell out of love with baseball because yes. it's just too slow. That's why. Football's faster. Basketball is way faster. More buzz. It's just more buzz. It's just it's just no, more no fun. No it's doubt blood, about it. Right. But but I had a nephew who was an all-star baseball player mm -hmm. and a good basketball player, and I just remember the AAU coach. No, 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 no. Basketball 24-7. Mm -hmm. and, and that's why he stopped playing. And a lot of kids are pressured that way in that, well, you really want to make it, you got to put everything into it. And that's just not true. Right. You, you, you can play more than one. And, that, and that's my thing. So it's a good this is a big moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great, I saw a stat to debunk one myth that you're making about money, long-term money, bigger yes. in baseball. It can be, but not, not often is it, because I saw a stat on ESPN that more than half of the active NFL quarterbacks have earned at least $10 million in their career. That's the whole batch of them. Yeah. And that only 28% of the current outfielders in baseball have earned more than $10 million for their career. That's because a lot of them are young and they're still on the first five years right. and you haven't struck it rich right. yet. Because you, if you're good and you struck... Like Andrew McCutcheon, he's, he just keeps striking it rich because he's really good. And he's only 5 feet 11. And he just got $51 million, dollars, right. And again, he's a short guy. Mookie Betts is, what, 5'9"? He's a star. Yeah, and he's, he's a star. And uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. is 5'10". How tall is Mike Trout? 
I don't know. He can't be more than about 5'10", 5'11". He might be six feet. Yeah, he might be six feet. feet. But then I saw another stat that current quarterbacks, 11% of them in the NFL have earned a hundred million or more in their careers because those are the top of the, right. the list, right? Only f- five percent of current outfielders have, have made a hundred million or more. My point is, if you're playing that position in the National Football League and you have some longevity to you and you're a star, if you're a star, you, you can make. Yeah, but, you, but here's the thing, though, Skip. Okay. But if you have longevity and you're a star in baseball, how much can you make? How much is Mike Trout? How much is Giancarlo Stanton? Yeah. How much is Bryce Harper? Okay, I'm sure. That's the equivalent. I, I am sure. Right, on, that, that's the equivalent to the quarterback. I got you. But I'm more sold on Kyler as a football star than as a baseball star. Again, I told you earlier, he played two years of college baseball at the University of Oklahoma. It's pretty high level in the Big 12. Yeah. But he was not a star, didn't make an all-star team. He hit last year 296. His on base was almost 400, which is why Billy Bean said him. That's why, I they, want that's him. why they love him. And his on base plus slugging, because he's got power attached to speed, was almost 1,000. So that's why they're like, oh, there. Yeah. They're projecting. That's what they're it, looking for. Okay, but it, it, didn't, it, it didn't manifest itself last year. It wasn't like he dominated the sport. Right. Because I'm sure Mike Trout all the way up, he's just yeah. dominant, dominant, dominant. Right. Every level, every high school, you know, he, he's just going to dominate whatever level. This kid is still trying to find his way in baseball. In football, he simply had the greatest statistical season in the history of college football. So I can see it. I, I've told you, on the football field, I've never seen quicker feet than this kid's feet, yeah. including so, Barry Sanders. Because it's just spectacular what he can do with his legs and his arm. And his arm is above average. He yeah. can... He can fling it, man. So we saw what he could do in football. Mm -hmm. He did win the Heisman Trophy. And baseball's desperate pursuit of him because they need that star has actually fueled his the rising stock in football. I agree with that. And so now Mel Kuyper's projecting him to either Miami or Washington at 13 or 15 in the that that's the top half of the first round of the draft. And then we went over this earlier. Arizona's got the first pick. They need a quarterback. You could argue, although Josh Rosen, you know, whatever. Raiders at four, Giants at six, Jaguars at seven, Broncos, your Broncos at 10, and the Bengals at 11. All are candidates Mm -hmm. to pick a quarterback. Well, you look at the field. Dwayne Haskins, I like. He really, against certainly against Michigan, he was sensational. So he'll be up there in that group somewhere. He did. But Skip, you also have to factor in, a lot of guys have failed who were Heisman Trophy winners as they made that okay, I, right. transfer I, over I, to I, the I, NFL. It's you, not you, automatic. It's You're not right. automatic, and history doesn't dictate that's going to happen again this time. But he will be the shortest quarterback in NFL history right. if he starts games for somebody. Yes. So I still believe in him because he's got he's got stature to him. He's not skinny short. He's He's got stature. Yeah. He can take the licking. He can keep on ticking. He's got... Um, he, He's got durability to him in football. Can you get hurt faster? Sure you can in football. You can get hurt in baseball yeah, sometimes you can. too. But in the end, you look at the other quarterback candidates, Drew Locke and Daniel Jones. I've watched all of them. Will Greer, Ryan Finley. So you're saying maybe okay. if this was last year, oh. you would look and go, you, you'd say, uh, I don't know about yeah. last year. Do you know uh, what I mean year, with that crop of uh, – th- This year it's between him and Dwayne Haskins for who would go first in that, that early Haskins battle. Probably. They're probably, if, if given a choice, they'll probably take probably, pretty typical. Okay, yeah. you're probably right. Probably, what, six, two, six, three? You're yeah. probably right. Big kid. But yeah. Cliff Kingsbury was on record, again, at Texas Tech before they are about to play Oklahoma. I would take him with the first pick in the draft, Kyler Murray. Well, does he still believe that? I don't know. Josh Maybe. McDaniels took uh, Tim Tebow, too. Would yep. they get him? I got him a uh, playoff. No, he got, him, no, he fired. got him fired in Denver. But that that didn't get him oh, fired. Rob. Tim Tebow wasn't playing Bring yet. That up. At the end of the <laughs> What's going to make the kid happy, Skip? Where is this? Well, obviously his heart is Okay, when they go, okay. get them and take money out of the equation. Okay. I'm taking it out because I'm convinced he would be happier. There's no rush like Sunday rush for a quarterback, especially, nothing even like, for a tight end. There's nothing like running out of that tunnel. No, there's just nothing. You run onto the field. You, hey, when they all run onto the field, they cheering for everybody. You run out of that tunnel, they call your name at that tight end from Savannah State. Right. Man, 80,000 fans go crazy. Oh, man. And let me throw this on top of it. Where did I put that work in? Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> endorsements. Again, oh, he could okay. be a big baseball star, but you're not going to land any endorsements when you start off in Stockton in high A ball because you, you you can't sell that. Would Nike give him a deal? They probably would as a baseball player. Mm-hmm. But again, because he has name recognition hey, already. Yeah. If, if Let's just do the hypothetical. If Arizona takes him number one overall. How many endorsements will he get? He'll get a bunch because yeah. he's the next it kid, right? 
big Nike deal probably. Not, yeah. Well, some shoe deal. They're probably going to get like a, 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 a drink, sports oh, drink, yeah. new shit. He's just starting to happen, yeah. probably. I'm surprised. And, and it's funny. I don't probably a step him. ladder company, too, you know? Maybe. <laughs> Well, uh-huh. you could be right about that. He would, he would probably go wrong. Go wrong with that. He, he doesn't have, as you know, he doesn't have big charisma off the field, but he has big charisma on the field. And I think it's in him. Yeah. I think there's that confidence yeah. Yeah, in him, but, but I think it will come yeah. out as we see more of him, too. Shannon, are you surprised, though, that, you know, like the football players who have achieved well, like, you know, when you hear this, Dion's not like some guy who just had a cup of coffee in his. I was surprised by that. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, Tom, he says it all the time. He, if, if he could, he'd play. He'd, if he, if he was the equivalent of what he was in, in football. football, baseball, no, no question. He's like, I, 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 I don't really get it because he was simply the greatest cornerback yeah. in the history of football. So, so how, imagine, how would you walk away from that? No, imagine, it's being amazing. A, being being a, considered one of the greatest outfielders of all time. All is, that, that money. is that because that made him happier? Did baseball well, make him happier? I, I think, you know what? Did it frustrate him more where he wished he could have been a bigger yeah, star? Yeah, because he wanted to master that. Yeah. Because time rolled out of bed, he was going to run 4-2. Right. And he was going to cover the best easy. Oh, yeah. no. He was going to roll out of bed and do that, and he had Maybe. to really...